uh, when did you join PPS? I was a 13 when I joined the PPS so and I was in 8th standard. In 8th standard. Yeah. Uh, did you go to some other school before that? Yeah, I went to, in Jangirawad, I used to, yeah, I went to one uh, P. P. some college. So I did, did my 7th there. Alright, so what was the difference that you found between the two schools when you joined PPS? See, actually the difference was what I found, it was like, they just concentrated on this study written, write exam, get good marks and go move from here. But here actually it's a lot of different, I can I cannot compare with Parad Pradi with any other institute or any other college because totally different, it's, it make a woman as an independence woman. So it's something's different, we can, I cannot compare with any other college, so it's, it's, it's I cannot just explain with one line or something else. Yeah. It and may, yeah. What made you want to go to Bangalore? Actually, when I was not in Padal Parvi, I used to think like the women means nothing. Like as we have old thinking, just make chapati, get married, that's it. When I came to Padal Parvi, I have seen the people are going to USA, to Bangalore, and to Noera, to Delhi. So I, when I thought like, okay, even I should do something better for my life, for my parents to make them proud. So that's why I chose Bangalore like, as a good place to be, to work there. And uh, what was your experience after you left Pardada Pardadi and you moved to Bangalore? What was the experience? Because that must have been your first time going yeah, to a big yeah, city. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So my experience was actually totally different because uh, the problem, such problem which I faced was English. But even we here in Pardada Pardadi also we have learned English. But there, because practically we have not done, we used to learn and we not used to speak English. But there we went and we start speaking in English. So yeah, everything just got changed. Even I got in confident enough to talk with the people, and now I can travel alone anywhere. So I'm enough confident now. So it's Pradha uh, hasn't changed my life. So and uh, what are your plans in, for your future, Shweta? What are your plans for uh, after this? Actually, just now I completed my diploma and I'm just a uh, ten months over to my job. So I'm planning for some degree because degree should be there. And then later on, my sister is studying in the same college. So I'm looking for, and I'm, we people are planning for just little help for the Pradana Pradi so we can contribute something from our side. Oh, so, that's, yes, uh, yeah. so you want to contribute yes. to Pradana Pradi from your side? Yeah. You really believe in giving back, huh? It's nothing like that, but something, you know, it's feeling like something we should do for Pradana Pradi because Pradana Pradi has done a lot for us. So at least a small contribution can we do, it's, I think it's good. I think that's a very beautiful yeah. thought that you have. What are your plans for your own life? Your own personal life? What do you think? When do you want to get married? What do you Mary, want to do? at least, uh, Mary's, like, from my parents' sides, at least they're saying that three, four years, no marriage, nothing. That's my plan so that I want to be a successful woman. And as well, my brother and sister also, they should be in a high position. So at the top, at, uh, saying I should have my own home, car, and my family should be settled. That's that's great. It's it's very good to know that you think like that for your yes. life. Thank you so much, Shabna. I really so appreciate much. that you took out this time for us. Thank you so much. Thank you.